Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your monthly reading. This is for May 2024 for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. So we're going to be looking at the overall energy of the month, hidden blessings, what you're leaving behind, how to get the most of your month, what's supporting you, and what to be mindful of. So, Gemini, let's get started. The overall energy of the month is Seven of Pentacles. It looks like something that you have invested a lot of time and energy into. You're looking for a payout. You're looking for an investment to pay out. It looks like you're being very discerning. I love this very discerning about who and what you give your energy to your time your energy your focus you realize your worth and your value and you also realize you have a limited amount of time and energy and resources and so it feels like you're valuing yourself more and so you're being very mindful of where and who you're expending your energy in i'm even getting like thoughts i know this is pentacles but i'm not going to be thinking about spending time thinking about something that just creates anxiety it feels like you're being very mindful is the closest translation that i have here mindful of who and where you share your energy because there's some type of heartbreak that's why you're being so mindful and cautious. Feels like you've got a wounded heart and the heartbreak is creating a lens of, of sadness, of woundedness. And it looks like you're pulling your energy back, trying to figure out who you are, trying to protect your heart space from this woundedness. You want happiness. You are definitely, you've, you've got access to a lot of joy, energy. It's difficult. It feels like you've got uh, this wounded heart, this woundedness. And what I really like about this so far, the overall energy of the month of May, is your happiness. It feels like you're choosing happiness. It feels like you're focusing on what will bring you happy. You're focusing on who and what will bring you happiness. You, it feels like you are walking away from anything that is not for you. Even if there's some type of attachment still, it feels like uh, healing that childhood woundedness. There's also uh, something very magical happening in the month of May for you, a potential. I think there's this, this once in a lifetime type of energy, something that, that you're going for. Wow. Um, so curious if this resonates with any uh, Geminis out there very beautiful very beautiful your hidden blessings is the king of pentacles in reverse this energy feels very ungrounded it feels like someone who wants money wants finances wants the finer things but they don't know how to achieve that they they don't know how they're more worried with the appearances of wealth than actual wealth this is someone more concerned with appearances and it's, oh, wow. The hidden blessing is that there's a hidden blessing. It feels like you are healing these qualities within yourself in the month of May, Gemini. So anything that's False sense of security. There we go. Things that give the impression of stability and security, 
but they're fake. It feels like there's a, a, a false front that's that you're letting go of, worrying about how others perceive you, worried about uh, the appearance of wealth. It feels like whatever, it feels like you're healing how others perceive you, needing to control how others perceive you, needing to be perceived as successful. It feels like you're letting go of how people perceive you. <laughs> and that's beautiful. It's allowing you without worrying about how others are seeing you, how they're viewing you, you are able to then show up as yourself. Just step in that this is me and this is my authenticity. Feels like continually stepping into the new version of you with each new step that you take. And it feels like your energy is very healing by you will. Oh, this is Aquarian energy with the star card. You're really stepping into this Aquarian energy understanding the assignment of the age of Aquarius that we're in, really allowing yourself to um, heal those inauthentic aspects of yourself and show up as the star that you are. Holy cow. Wow, Gemini. Love this. Love, love, love. Okay. What you're leaving behind is the Ten of Swords. I couldn't think of another card that's better to leave behind a cycle of pain this is a lot of painful experiences painful communication wow uh, it's it's it feels like the the ease that you are bringing in in may i feel even like my spirit is getting calmer and i want to talk it's just there's so much peace without all this painful communication. I'm getting especially painful communication. It looks like you're following your passions. Wow. Oh, you're leaving behind um, something traditional, a traditional way of being. You're, maybe you're leaving behind what your family, your religion, your society, your government, your region, where, wherever you are and whoever's around you, that structure, you're leaving behind a, a traditional structure where you had to ask others permission to for what you want to do and how you show up. feels like you're circumventing that. You're like, I'm willing to trust my own intuition and make mistakes. Uh, I'm willing to follow my passions and desires. You're definitely, it, there's a leaving behind of some kind of structure. Wow. Leaving behind quickly with the chariot. And it's not the chariot coming towards, it's leaving leaving that you might literally be moving you might be moving on or moving locations you're giving yourself permission Ooh, it looks like you've really utilized uh the eclipse energy and you're leaving behind hidden emotions where you have to hide how you really feel You want to, it looks like you're, you've got a, a, um, a connection with your, um, unconscious subconscious. That's really beautiful. Oh, wow. You're very intuitive, very intuitive. You might be psychic. You might be, uh, witchy, Reiki. Somehow you're understanding energy, understanding, uh, you might get intuitive dreams, intuitive feelings, and it looks like you've gone through an incredible transformation. And so what's no longer for you, you're leaving behind. 
And a lot of what you're leaving behind are beliefs that don't serve you, beliefs that kept you stuck, kept you tied, kept you small. And it looks like you're asking for more freedom. Beautiful. Wow. All right. How to get the most of your month. The month of May, Gemini, is the Five of Cups. looks like you've lost the taste for something something that once you loved and now it's no longer there there's this grief you no longer have these feelings it feels like a, a lot of grief allowing your I, I feel like to get the most of what you want out of your month is allowing yourself to feel these really uncomfortable grieving feelings not wallowing in it, not making it larger, not bringing the story in, but just letting go of the storyline and feeling into your lower chakras and allowing yourself to feel how you're feeling. Not see how I'm even quieting down. I'm letting go of the higher chakras need to translate everything and just feeling your lower chakras don't communicate they're not talky like your upper chakras they're more of a feeling space so when you communicate with your lower chakras there's a willingness to feel to be open to the experience that your body is feeling and your nerves and how your body is is feeling i don't know how to express it and not trying to create a storyline it feels like that's how you get the most of your month as you as so what i've gathered here is that you're you've cleared a lot of what no longer serves you you're walking away or moving away from heartbreak and moving away from some traditional way of being. And as you allow yourself to be human, Gemini, as you allow yourself to feel the feelings, then if you're burning through what's keeping you stuck. And it feels like as you give yourself permission to feel, then things start really moving. It's like you're burning through the emotions. You're burning through the emotions so you can clear space for emotions you would prefer to feel. Something shifts very quickly by allowing yourself to feel emotions. Something's moving very quickly. You're taking a move on something. This could be something in the past that's happened. And it looks like there's a public lack of success. Something feels like something doesn't go as expected. Like you make a move, you're guarded. You're these, this is um, it's very interesting. There's a mix of messages here. Let's get some clarity. Yeah, something that you take action on, there's, uh, it feels like you're waiting for something in the month of May to take action on. This is wands energy, something that you're excited about. And something happens, it feels like it doesn't work out as planned in the month of May. It feels public, it feels embarrassing. Let's take this to the side. It feels like you get through this and this is necessary. This is important that this happens. Why is this important? Yeah, it's practice. It feels like you are uh, learning something that's necessary. You get through this. It feels faded. So this isn't something you can avoid. And why would you want to avoid it? It feels like you're, 
whatever this, whatever happens and it feels public and it feels like it hits your uh, abandonment wound, like rejection, because there's someone that's, that you're needing to see that there's, there's a deceptive person, a mentally manipulative person. There's someone that's going to be sussed out their reckless behavior and it feels like they're getting caught in this recklessness it feels like you at first it feels like some move that you make it doesn't go right and you're like gosh this is just a, it's this it, i don't know what this is it's a general reading but something comes up that causes a lot of difficulty a fight public uh defeat and you feel rejected and it feels purposeful by somebody who was being reckless once you figure out who this is and what they're behind and the recklessness then it feels like this person is like backtracking and like oh um I, 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 I. it's like and i feel like you're you got all the information you need on their action and um, it's it's whatever happens here needs to happen because there's a need to move away from this type of energy, this deceptive energy, this energy that doesn't want to see you succeed, this energy that purposely wants you to feel abandoned and rejected. So it looks like you're getting very clear with yourself with any regards to people. It looks like you make it out of this absolutely fine. But it's like spirit needs you to see that this this person isn't for you, something like that. So, wow, so curious, Gemini, if that resonates. All right, what's supporting you, Gemini, in the month of May is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. What's supporting you is what you're leaving behind, cycles of injustice. And it's like you're leaving timelines that aren't for you, that no longer have anything for you. Uh, there's nothing left to explore. There's no joy there. There's no new learning. It feels like you might have stayed somewhere um, that was uncomfortable, incredibly uncomfortable, but not uncomfortable enough to take a leap of faith and, and leave what's not for you behind. This might be this person showing up. This might be... A hidden blessing in that this person gets you to see something um, about unfairness that you're leaving behind and this type of energy so wow very interesting all right Gemini what to be mindful of in the month of May is the king of swords yeah being very clear head over heart cutting out what no longer serves you communicating effectively and honestly yeah it's going to cause a tower and it looks like you're you being it feels like you're cutting someone out you're definitely cutting this type of energy off in the month of may and it causes a, a tower because you're no no longer willing to build on something build with someone who's um where it's building on a delusion building on an illusion it's time to come down to earth it's time to see things for what they really are unmasking it feels like the more authentic you show up uh then you start seeing things the authenticity or the lack of authenticity in the environment Wow. All right, Gemini, I'm going to move on to, over to Patreon and do an additional extended reading and look at health, relationships, creativity, new opportunities, 
in career and finance in the month of May. So if this reading has resonated, you might want to consider meeting me over on Patreon. And um, yeah, I'll see you there if that's for you. Have a great month.